Alrighty, Lumberjacks, welcome back. Um, today we're going to be looking at a game called Lumberjack Simulator. So he's asked me to do some beta testing on it. He's asked actually a whole bunch of people to do a bunch of beta testing. Um, and I told him what I would do is make a little review and uh, play through it, kind of see uh, how it is. So if you guys are interested in looking at this, it's uh, lumberjacksimulator.com. Again, this is very much like beta. I would even say alpha at this point. Um, it is really nice to see a logging game that looks um, different in terms of, you know, it's not the farming simulator. You know, you got better dynamic lighting. You got a lot more textures. Um, I don't know if there is any sound in this yet or not. Might be still. Uh... So it's it's very, uh, very beta, like I said. I think you can turn your saw. I should get the control guide. I can't remember now. We're going to learn as we go. Uh, so look, as you can see, we got a uh, nice model of a wheeled feller buncher here. Looks actually very similar to the one that we had. Uh, same with a uh, little uh, little John Deere looking skitter here as well. Again, very early alpha access, so no judgment. Yeah, see, there's got to be a way to turn my saw because I just cut a tree literally in half. Woo, it looks actually pretty fun. Okay, so now we can... Now you can make little notch cuts in the tree. Again, I just glitched it out because I'm probably stupid and don't know how to do it. I wonder if he has... Oh, oh! I just turned it. How did I do that? Ah, it's Q and E. Q turns it left. E turns it right. So let's let's properly cut down a tree. I apologize to the developer because I should have actually looked at this before I uh, started messing around. So we go. Made a notch. Weight of the tree is bringing her down. Pretty sweet. So yeah, you can put notch cuts in the tree. I mean, this is all beta stuff, but I mean, uh, this game has a lot of potential, uh, the way he's got it built already. I mean, it, obviously we're at some pretty bare-bone physics for the time being. I don't know if you can pick those up or do anything with them. Maybe not yet. Um, you can roll stuff. That's good. The uh, the physics on the roll is actually pretty, pretty realistic. I mean, these are square. Like, you can tell they're kind of like polygon square hexy looking trees, so... Um, the roll on them might not be the most realistic, but that's okay. That's something that can be corrected in future builds. Did I get it? Oh, maybe not. I think I'm getting it. We got to angle it more. What if I run into it? Oh, there she goes. With 100 million cuts in it. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to take a couple pieces out of the high end of this one. Now I don't know about um oops. Oh. oh well. A little bit buggy physics, but nothing too too crazy. Uh let's see if I can remember how to get into these things. I think it's enter O V. There we go. Oh hey, we got some sound now. There we go. Now, the camera modes, I think, are... What are the cameras? Oops, V gets in the machine. View. Oh, camera. C. Just like farming sim. So he's got some mud physics going on, which is very spin tiresy. Uh, this is a newest edition. I did play another beta of it earlier. Oh, yeah. See? I mean, just with that functionality in the ground alone, um, he has... There's a lot of potential here. Um, for a great logging game. And I'm really excited for this. I think it'll be a blast. See, we're spinning out in the mud here. Uh, uh, uh. Enter. Enter cuts the tree. Again, it's pretty rigid uh, physics for the animation as far as, you know, what you can do and what you can't do. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. Okay. Controls are a little wonky here, but that's okay. Oh, we don't want to get stuck on that. All right, let's grab another tree here. Again, control-wise, maybe there's probably some control stuff I'm missing out on here, but uh, functionality-wise, he has a really good start to things. Um, obviously, there's room for improvement on controls and dynamics of the trees okay so let's um <clears throat> let's go back oh i got a stick in my cab I'm surprised we're not dead there probably would be 
So we're going to go back and we're going to grab that other machine there and we're going to test that out too. So now we knocked down a couple trees. We're going to test out that skitter just to see kind of how it plays. I wish I wish we could uh, apply that same those same mud physics to uh, farming simulator. It'd be a whole other world, man. But different engines, right? So, so we're gonna go this way. There's a lot of tires on this skitter. <laughs> maybe maybe a little bit too many tires on this skitter. The uh, functionality of it and how it how it moves seems pretty accurate, though. I can make it go up this hill. Uh-oh. Now we're going to get this thing stuck. There we go. That's the trick. Just put her in four, bud. We got this. Oh! <laughs> Starting to feel like my mod's some here. <laughs> I understand. Stuff happens, right? Functionality occurs. Been there, done that. As a modder, I can respect the fact that it doesn't always work out 100%. All right, I just want to try to pick up this tree so we can say we did. If I can get the grapple low enough to grab it. Okay, there's got to be a way to uh, move that cylinder somehow. it has got to be a way. Oh, hey, my blade just went down, didn't it? All right. I was trying to see if I can make this thing wiggle here. Okay, so I imagine... I imagine once the game actually does come out, obviously, or they get like a, a beta going, those tires are just doing their thing. Um, they'll probably have like a control uh, guide, kind of like farming simulator that pops up in one of the corners there. Um, that way, at least you'll be able to tell what controls do what. And then you can synchronize them to joysticks or whatever. I know they had a forwarder in the other beta. I don't know where that is, if it's on the map or not. So we're going to take a little wander. Let's take a little wander around the map here. I'm definitely loving the mud physics on the ground. That is so cool. I'm so glad that they added that feature in. I think that'll make a night and day difference. There's clearly lots of work to be done to this thing before I would ever call it uh, ready to rock, but at least you uh, at least you have an idea of what it looks like. And graphics-wise, I mean, yeah, it's it's pretty sweet. It's very plain, very simple right now, but you know what? That's how most uh, good logging stuff starts, right? So... Uh, do, 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 do. She's got some like random buildings up here. Lots of timber to cut down. And um, two things that I will note that are really good. One, performance. There's a lot of trees down here. It looks really good. This looks very real foresty with the fog and volumetric kind of lighting and smoke kind of in the trees. Beautiful looking game. And there's a lot of trees, and I'm not noticing any frame rate drops. Like, there's no problem. I don't see, I haven't had any issues with drops. Again, it could just be simple, you know, the simple physics of it that's keeping it so so easy to do. Uh, the trees don't really want to fall down. That's okay. We're going to try and notch it a little bit here. See if that makes a difference. There you go. Give it a little bit of an angle, then they want to fall. Oh, that kind of stuck in there. Hey, we created a Widowmaker in a really weird way. Let's try to cut this one down, too. Oh. There we go. Nope. Some will fall, some will not. That's just the way trees go. A little bit of lighting stuff on there. So it looks like they're uh, predetermined lighting of some kind. So, like, when I when I cut them, they light up. I think it's just because they're becoming a new element or a new entity, so the the lighting changes a bit. Oh man, we've created a a scary situation. Oh look, now the other tree's falling down. Man, that's like a that's like a faller's nightmare I've just created right there. That's that's something to be feared. <laughs> I would be scared of that for sure. Oh, started to fall. I think um, when he gets the chainsaw physics and maybe the square issue on the trees rounded off, I think this could be an amazing falling simulator, if anything, for the start. Um, this forest is beautiful. Uh, the ground texture is beautiful. The fact that there's mud that you can get stuck in is absolutely exquisite. Um, I think there's a lot of potential in this game. Like I'm going to be following this game really closely as he does developments on it because... I love farming simulator, I love the logging, I love modding, but most of all, I love forestry in general. So I don't really care 
what game I play. If if someone makes a better game for forestry related stuff, I'm definitely going there. You know, if Farming Simulator starts to fall short, this has a lot of potential to get somewhere really cool. I hope he is able to get the team together that he needs uh, in order to make this the next awesome logging simulation game. And like I said, I've extended my offer of help to him if he ever needs any content or uh, you know feedback from anybody for logging. We definitely have a big following and a lot of guys who know a lot of stuff. Um, we also have lots of people who are great texturing guys, modeling guys. So if the developer ever needs help and he wants uh, FDR logging to step in and give him a hand, we'll, we'll be happy to promote, we'll be happy to uh, assist wherever we can. This is, uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful setup. And like I said, this is, this is early access. So, um, I mean, don't, by all means, do not take this as a, like a final review of a game or a, even, you know, anything. This is just a potential start to a logging game. And I think he's done an amazing job so far. This is, this is impressive. I've seen, well, I mean, you guys have seen, uh, like even on Steam, some of the farming games that have, or the farming, the logging lumberjack games or logging whatever the hell they're called they're really cheap really crappy games for logging and they're all like automated physics and automated animations and it looks really terrible and they're calling them full completed games i can tell by this one already right off the bat that this game is probably 90 percent better than all of those games and it's just in its alpha status right now like you know he has a, a great amount of potential to make this really go places so, I'm just going to see if I can run up this hill just for fun. And the ground physics, like these ground physics, ground textures, they just look so much better than Farming Simulator just because they have, you know, their own normal mapping, their own, you know, detailed speculars, and it just looks really good. In a game like this, <clears throat> I bet you'd have a better chance doing things like plowing uh, into the mud, plowing your own roads. I mean, different tree types. Can you cut all these trees? Probably. Yeah. So all these trees are cuttable. Obviously, the, uh, the the cutting physics aren't quite there yet, but no big deal. There you go. So yeah, like this this has a has a lot of potential. I'm actually pretty excited for this game. And like I said, I would I would love to help the developer any way he uh, he needs it because this is uh, this is right up our alley for farming simulator uh, for logging simulation games. So. Uh, I'll be following this one for sure. So if you guys haven't had a chance, um, do check out... I'm going to call this the end of the video for this one just because uh, there's not a lot more I can do here. Oh, there's the edge of the map. Uh, beautiful little valley here. So yeah, I'm going to call call it the end of this one. Um, if you guys haven't had a chance to check it out, um, definitely go to... Oh, I don't have it open anymore. The Lumberjacksimulator.com. And uh, I'll put a little uh, a comment down below with a link to all that stuff as well. Uh, just so you guys can check it out. But if he ever opens up a Kickstarter or he ever opens up, you know, his own Patreon, I'll definitely post that stuff as well because this is a game I would like to see get developed. Um, I'm a huge, obviously a huge advocate for uh, logging simulation, and I think it'll be uh, something if the guy really wants to make something out of it. So, yeah, anyway, if you guys liked the video, leave a like, uh, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you're in the bush, don't forget to hug a tree. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.